Hi and welcome to our next video. If you don't know who we are, please check out our website at www.thenew20shousework.com.au or watch our introduction video here on YouTube. Now, safe to say, it's been a crazy couple of weeks for us here, so I apologise that this video has taken a while. If you watched our previous videos, you'll know that we've decided to update Thomas's bedroom from a toddler room into a big boy room. We've decided on a space theme. In the last video, I repurposed some old IKEA Trofast units into a bookshelf. This week, I'm going to repurpose another old unit into a seat with storage to complete his reading corner. To begin the project, follow the painting instructions in the bookshelf video, making sure that all the surfaces are painted that will be visible when the unit is turned on its side. I did mention previously that these units are available to purchase in black from IKEA for about $99 if you can't be bothered painting an old one. I'm still working on an extremely limited budget, so for us, painting was the cheapest option since we already had the white units. The materials that I use for this project are four cans of spray paint at $3.98 each, four hinges at $5.99 a pair, some NASA blue fabric at $2 a metre, and some high density foam at a cost of $36.04. The timber for the seat tops cost me nothing as I reuse panelling from Thomas's bed like I did for the bookshelf. Adding these items to our running total of $87.68 gives us a new running total of $155.62. Now my projects are not always perfect, in fact far from it. The good news for you is that I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. There are a few things that I would change if I was doing this one again. As I mentioned in the last video, if you have a higher budget than me, I would suggest a better quality paint, preferably a paint and prime. Also, I would have used smaller hinges but added extra so that each lid has two hinges. I would have also used regular butt hinges rather than the easy fit hinges. The other thing to note is that I had my husband cut the lid pieces because I was short on time. Unfortunately, he didn't cut them very straight, so there are gaps in my final product. Be careful when you're cutting and be as accurate as you can for the best outcome. While I had everything out of the room for spray painting, we gave the walls a quick spruce up because this is the last room in our house that needed painting. Lay the painted unit on its side and cut the lids. I didn't paint mine, but it would look more finished if you painted the underside before adding the foam. You can see here what I mean about being accurate with your cutting. Ensure the pieces line up with the edges of the unit. A small 5mm gap is appropriate between the pieces to allow for fabric. Using the seat lids as a guide, mark and then cut out the foam. I'm using leftover pieces of foam to make a cushion on the bookshelf so that the seat extends all of the way across. There is a slight height difference, but I found that using two layers of the foam works well to even it up. I used hot glue to stick the pieces together and hold them in place. Don't stick it to the bookshelf just yet though. Make sure all of your pieces line up. Lay the foam on top of the navy fabric, then lay the seat lid on top. Cut the fabric so there's about a 2 inch overhang on each side of the seat lid. Fold the edge of the fabric over once and then attach it to the bottom of the seat lid using a staple gun. Repeat the process for the ends of the seat lid. For the extra cushion, you could cut an additional piece of timber and staple on the fabric, but I simply used hot glue along the underside of the cushion and then I glued it directly on top of the bookshelf. Position the hinges on the seat lid in the desired position and cut or poke a small hole through the fabric where the screws will go. This is to stop the fabric getting damaged when attaching the hinges. Screw on the hinges, then screw the other side of the hinge to the Trofast unit. Just a quick note here, I used reasonably thin foam and lightweight board, so I didn't feel the need to reinforce the unit. If you're using thicker materials, it would be a good idea to add some extra support under the edge of the unit to screw the hinges onto. Check that the seat lids fold down and fit well. Again, here you can see what happens if you don't measure properly. Once I added some teddies, it isn't very noticeable though. I think he was pretty happy with his new reading corner. That's all I have for you today. His room is coming along well, but there is more to do. Next time, I'll be transforming his bed into a space shuttle. I will be straight up though and say that it won't be next week, but I'll try to get it done and videoed for you within a month. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along. In the meantime, please check out our Instagram page or our website for more.